straight to coast. G'day. Thanks for joining us. Today we're going to see in action some of Queensland's best young sailors. I can confidently predict that here there is some future for Brisbane Gladstone races and potential Olympians. While the boats are small, the dreams are big, and the competition is really keen. Before we go sailing, let's go surfing. Stick with us because after the break... On any given Sunday, the lawns of the Redcliffe Peninsula Yacht Club are alive with activity as another generation gets an initiation to the sport aboard these starter dinghies called Sabos. And the crews have come from as far away as Gladstone and Yapoon to compete in the South Queensland Sabo Bay titles. Behind the operation is a dedicated band of volunteers and parents, including Irene and Dean Balkan, mum and dad to eight little sailors. So how much time do you invest in the sailing oh, competition? Every weekend, yeah, every Saturday, for most Sundays training. Oh, well, well, well. Yeah, but it's just a sport that the old lot of them can do instead of running around all over the place. Just remember to have your mane on the corner when you're going upwind. It all looks all right. Just pull your bang on at the top mark. No Cunningham today, all right? At the ripe old age of 16, Trent Gordon is already a veteran of Zabos. Now he's progressed to coaching. And later this year, he'll race a bigger class of boat, the 420, in the world titles in Italy. Why is this boat so suited to novice sailors? Huh? Well, because it's, like, really simple. There's only the one sail. There's not too many ropes to pull, and it's just, like, really easy. And they can be sailed single-handed or two-up? Well, yeah, up to the age of 12, it's um, sailed two-up, and then after that, you sail one-up by yourself. It all looks pretty good, guys. Go out there and have fun. Sure will. 11-year-old Reese and 9-year-old Josh McClintock went through a learn-to-sail program, and already they've got high aspirations. Meanwhile, little brother Hayden's waiting in the wings and chomping at the bit to have a go. And what do you enjoy most about the racing? It's just good to get out there and have fun with your mates and stuff. And what do we do with sailing in the future? I'd like to sail off Sydney to Hobart. Would you? Yeah. And just tell me, what are these little... Oh, well, these, well, yeah. these are what us sailors call windexes. They help us to, like, see where the wind's coming from and all. Yeah, an obvious concern for any parent is safety. All the kids are wearing PFDs, plus there are plenty of safety boats. And the Learn to Sail course takes place in the protective waters of the harbour. Many of the parents put themselves through safety and instructors courses so they can help out. And in the case of RPYC, an enthusiastic band of volunteers has built six sabots for the kids in the last 12 months. How you feel to see this next generation of sailors coming through? Well, man, it's pretty good. Uh, that's our future out there, and that's why we've got juniors in our club. So what is the cost of getting involved in something like the Sabo class? Um, if they want to come down to the club, they can come down and uh, race with us. It costs them $5 a day. If they want to buy a boat, you can buy a Sabo for as low as $300. So as far as sport goes, it's quite, uh, quite cheap to get into. And what life lessons do you think this does teach the kids? Oh, teamwork. Teamwork, tolerance, patience, uh, all of that. And uh, you see these children here, uh, as, as an adult, you just see them blossom in sailing. And it helps them beyond sailing, it helps them in their everyday life. Well, back here at Scarborough, it's been an exciting race. It's just coming across the line now. This is just the first of four races that will be held during the South Queensland Sabo Regatta. But this is where we have to leave you for this week. Join us the same time next week. And we're action from Creek to Coast. I'll see you then.